This is just a quick video to show you Floyd Hill on I-70. This is just west of Denver. So as you're leaving Denver, you've, you're kind of making an ascent up into the mountains to get on um, up into I-70. And then this is really the first time that you're doing a descent. So the descent is about a 6% grade over two miles. So not anything real severe, but if you are used to flat areas and you haven't really done a lot of mountain driving, it definitely can feel a little intimidating. Just just know that there's there are two lanes it starts as three but it'll go down to two so just be cautious of that and you don't want to go too fast so what's too fast really what we do is we put it down to second or third gear at this point in time we're still going about 50 ish or so um, we'll probably slow it down a little bit more. Technically, the speed limit for cars right now is only 55. You can tell those cars are flying by. And the speed limit for us really is about 45 because we have a gross weight of over 28,000 pounds. So it is going to be based on your gross weight. The commercial trucks that you see are going closer to that speed or even slower. If they have a really heavy load, sometimes they have their hazard lights on and they're going incredibly slow. That can be probably the most difficult part for us is if you have a truck that's going really slow, and I mean like 20 miles per hour, it's really hard to pass them and get around them because you have so many other passenger vehicles that are just flying around you. But this trek isn't really that long, so you don't have to worry too much about it. This time of year is the end of May, and you can see we're having a little bit of rain. We don't have any snow right now on the road. This road during the winter is when it really becomes terrifying. And the reason for that is that the road's going to come down and you'll see it. We'll do the whole video here and show you the whole trek. But the road's going to come down and then it makes a really sharp turn toward curve towards the left. And because there's a mountain in the way, and if you're going too fast, you're not going to be able to make that turn appropriately and you can tip your, your vehicle. And they have a big um, guardrail on the side in case of that, but the better solution is just to be going slow, put it into your lower gears and just accept the fact that the cars are going to be passing by you on the left and you're just gonna take it nice and slow so it's not an issue. See, here's where that exit is for Highway 6 and then we're going to continue straight on I-70 and this is where that curve is at and there's a tip rollover um, warning sign there that tells you you need to make sure you're not doing more than I think about 40 miles per hour on this curve so that you don't accidentally tip your truck. Once you pass this hill, this is really the first major descent that you have and you won't really have another major um, descent until Eisenhower Tunnel and Eisenhower Tunnel is a biggie. So we actually have a whole video for that, whether you're going westbound or eastbound on Eisenhower Tunnel, I'll link to those videos below so you can check that out as well. But um, if you're just taking your time and you put it in lower gears, you'll do fine in the Colorado mountains. Thanks so much for watching.